Okay, guys. <laughs> we got D1, Wiltsy here, and girlfriend. Guys, it is hotter than fuck. <laughs> We've been drilling, and we're gonna die, so we're just gonna make one video today. And I hope you guys understand. So, I just wanna talk about the slide-by, but I don't wanna talk about the slide-by to the takedown. I wanna talk about some of the mechanics only, okay? Because this is something people fuck up a lot, and even the people that can do it live don't, for, like a lot of people don't have a really high level understanding of what's actually happening, okay? So, when she ties up with me, okay, I take the same side arm that she grabbed my neck, and I don't grab her elbow unless I'm trying to bring her elbow to the inside, okay? But if she's got a pretty decent frame, that's not gonna happen. So what you do is you come around the back, okay, haha, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. That's so hot, that's my brain, okay? I reach around, that's not any better, and I grab her uh, ear line, really. Like, I wanna grab something that I can actually pull her neck into my shoulder, okay? So what'll happen is she'll either have her neck fold, or she'll try to kind of flex this arm and open her elbow up a little bit. And what that's gonna do is let me connect my hand. Okay, my hand is curling. That sounded bad. My elbow is pushing down. I'm pulling my shoulder into her uh, elbow and into her forearm, okay? And what that looks like is me pulling backwards like this. Loosen up here. Okay, here, here. Okay, now she, she flexes this. Instead of her head moving, now I get pressure here, okay? Now you gotta think about the mechanics of getting her hand to slide off the back of my neck, all right? So I'm gonna have to almost lean at a slight angle in order to take this and push that across, okay? I know most of the time people learn this as part of a setup for a takedown where they're coming across and they're connecting to a Russian tie or to making them go into the mat and putting their face down or whatever, but I don't care about that today, okay? I want you guys to just learn this one little part. So we connect, I have downward pressure, I take my shoulder itself, or whatever part of my body is actually connecting to the outside of her elbow, and I put pressure up, almost like I'm trying to armbar her, okay? I'm gonna have her put maximum pressure. Yeah, that is weak, <laughs> okay? See, so the more pressure she puts, the more I can start to pressure her hand up and over my head or off my head, okay, here. And you can see I have to push my chest into it so it looks like I lean backwards. And unfortunately, a lot of people learn it as lean. They learn it as like trying to slip the hand off. And that's not really what I want you guys to take away from this. I want you guys to take away the pressure. Give me some pressure back, okay? Of pushing that off. Keep the pressure. I'll, I'll make it pop off, okay? Here. The more I can get her elbow on the inside, the better. So if you're going to use your other hand, if you come across at all, Try to rotate this in, okay? Because now when I pull, I'm pulling my fucking chest into it instead of my shoulder, and that's actually gonna really get me to a much better spot. But anyways, just wherever we're at, just one-handed drill, okay? She gives me no pressure at all. I fold her fucking head like I'm trying to tilt her sideways, okay? She gives me pressure back. I still put that pressure, but that ends up turning into me pushing my shoulder into her elbow line, into her forearm line, wherever I'm connected to depending on her angle, okay? You can step into this also so I can get a lot more pop, okay? And I'm choosing to pop it up because she's grabbing the back of my head, or the top of my head. And that gives me an easy way to pop it up. But I just want you guys to learn how to pop it off because when you pop it off with your other hand in play, that's what's gonna direct it to where you wanna go for a takedown. But that doesn't matter if you can't get this fucking hand off. So, here, okay, or grab lower, okay? Here, I had actually, bring my chest forward on this one, okay? So I was too far back. If I'm not near her elbow line at all, if I'm too much of a distance, uh, I can get it off, but it's gonna be weak. I won't really have a good follow-up, okay? So on that one, I actually got closer. I got my chest on the outside of it. Now I can pop it off, okay? And just so you guys, I'm not gonna teach the takedown today. I wanna save a couple of those for follow-ups, okay? But like if I was somewhere like here and here, give me pressure back, okay? Everyone does, they said the same stupid thing, like, I need her to push into me. I don't, okay? I just want a little bit of pressure here, because if there was no pressure, I would just fucking throw this into the mat, okay? But the pressure lets me pop it, okay? And I'm going to pull her down with me on this one. Now I can start to do things to take her down, okay? But it's going to be your turn now. Okay. Okay? 
All right, are you ready? Yes. All right. Well, grab your fucking head. Unfortunately, that's the first thing everyone does. Okay, oh. see what I mean? Everybody who doesn't really know what they're doing, okay, they just kind of grab the elbow and they don't really know what to do. All right. So I'm going to talk more about that in a different video also. But for this video, I want you to come around and grab the back of my ear, my ear, or the back of my neck. Okay. Imagine I'm going to keep this loose. Imagine just taking this. Did we turn the mic on? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Oh, I would have forgot again. I forgot to turn that mic on so many times. Okay. So here, put, don't, don't just pull down. Take this. Try to pull sideways. Okay, now push your shoulder and your chest into that. You feel that pressure now? I'll give you a little bit of pressure back. Maybe, yeah, now you can. Now you should feel it. Just consistently push the pressure. Guys, don't learn how to do this in a burst until you learn how to just consistently apply pressure. So start to push your chest and shoulder forward, okay? Push it up at the angle you want this to slide off. You can lean your head back a little bit. You can step into me closer, okay? Give me more pressure here. Okay, your, your hand's not connecting to your shoulder very well. So wherever you're gonna grab, make sure you put almost like a flaring pressure. There you go, now I feel pressure from her. Okay, and keep turning that, push this off. Better, do it better. You didn't have to adjust anything, just go. Consistently pressure. Okay, so let's turn. Okay, push your chest up into the outside a little bit. There you go. Now start to pull your shoulder forward. All right, you start to feel that connection now? Now lean your head off to the side, like you're, but really focus on pushing this up. Okay. Now do that with two hands for a second, just so you can kind of see what's going on. Here. So put it on this other side here, down. Downwards pressure. Okay. Because when this pops up, you want it to go down. So you're still going to pop it up, but then you're going to drag it down. You forgot to pop. You focused only on your arm, and that is the problem. Okay. She started focusing on the pull and not the pop, even though the pop is what actually makes the move work. Go, go, go. Don't worry about the neighbor. Come here. Come to me. I was in a mobile object. Like, you got fan. Okay. So think about the pop. Fuck, just have your hand placed here. Pop this off, then drag it down. Better. I'm slippery as fuck. So you're not going to actually put me into the mat. I just wanted you to see the pop. Go ahead, grab my head on this side. Here. You feel how this pressure... You feel I'm actually angling it too? Yeah. I can angle it sideways and that doesn't, if I angle it down, like everyone kind of thinks, I'm actually pulling her hand into my head like this. If that pops off, that's great. But that's not what's gonna make it pop off, that is. Okay, be, being aware of the angle of your pressure is the difference between being someone who meddles a couple times and someone who wins everything. Okay, it's just like that is what being better at jujitsu is. It's being aware of the minutia that makes a move set work, okay, which is really just the pressures. This pressure right now, okay, I can take this up at an angle and then I can pop it off, okay? So the first thing that I did was pull to change the angle of her hand because when I pull her in and she gives me any kind of resistance, it almost pushes her elbow up and then I'm able to drag, push. So think, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> super saying, okay? Do it again. Oops. I didn't mean to throw you off. Sorry. Do the same side. Downward pressure. Push. Pull. Pull. Push and pull. The pull, yeah, there you go. You see how they sync up? Mm -hmm. The pull is the push. Words. Okay. Now, also, push it up your head. Let your head pressure and your shoulder pressure just bring it off. You should be able to slowly pop this off. There you go. Now you can pick the speed up on that. See how she did it really slowly and she was able to think her way through it? It doesn't have to be fast and explosive. That is not how you please a wolf. That is not how you get a takedown. Every time. Keep going, keep going. No, no, no. You never let up. Death before surrender. Okay? It also helps if you do things like head position and start doing other shit. But that's not the point today. There you go. And other other hands can just do other shit, okay? Um, there's other variations for this, by the way. Like, sometimes I'll go actually uh, a Y grip behind this because when I start to put that pressure down, and especially if she's giving me pressure back here, that gets me a grip here, 
where she can't turn back into me. I can run this down forever, okay? She may try to, like, get away from me a little bit, run away, but I've got her by the fucking literal throat, okay? She's not moving, all right? And a really good follow-up to a lot of this shit, you see Marshall do it, you see Pixley do it, is they just, like, kick the shit out of your legs. And there's more nuance behind it than that. It's a really a lot about getting people to come forward, and when they posturing up, you switching the direction of your pressure to take the weight off the foot you want to sweep. And don't kick it. If you kick it, you're an asshole, okay? A lot of people at Daisy Fresh kick the legs. They're assholes. Don't do this. You're supposed to use the bottom of your foot to do a sweep. Okay, we're not in fucking Muay Thai. It should sound like this when you sweep something, okay? So if I just took this girl's arms and I took it down and she starts posturing up, okay? Sweep the leg, Johnny. Not kick the leg, <laughs> okay? So I think that's it for the video. Uh, I just, like I said, I just wanted to talk about this really important mechanic that it just gets overlooked, okay? The details on the mechanics are what make the move sets work. And I just get frustrated sometimes that people aren't explaining them in a, a detail, into a degree that I would consider detailed, okay? Because if you don't understand how to link up your hand to your forearm with the curling pressure, your forearm to inward pressure with your elbow by this kind of pull, okay? That's what's gonna sync it up to your chest. Your chest and your shoulder connection are what's gonna actually pop this off. And you could step in and do it, okay? They, if they were pushing back into me, that'd be even easier, all right? So yeah, it is beneficial if they push into me, but I just don't need them to, okay? Because the, like I said, the details get lost on people. So this is D1 Wiltsy and... I, girlfriend. girlfriend. Do you have a name? She, <laughs> guys, she has a name. Flirt. She has a name. Her name is Floor. She's a lovely lady. Okay, you guys have a good day. And eat your Panda Express. Bye, have a great time.